What's going on, everybody, and welcome back uh, to the channel. Now, today, I come to you with a winning Punjab Kings review. Gee whiz, it feels like it's been a long time since I've reviewed a Punjab Kings game and we won. Um, now, obviously, I review every game, so that should tell you a bit that we don't win very often. Um, we beat CSK comfortably. We demolished them. And we still don't play playoffs. We're still not in the playoffs. And we just beat arguably the best team in the league. So make that make sense. It doesn't. Um, sh I mean, let's just get straight into it. I mean, this man on screen, Kyle Rahul. <laughs> he, uh, yeah. He did something very good. <laughs> Player of the match, of course, KL Rahul. 98 not out of 42. Well deserved. Deserved the 100. But unfortunately, Aiden Markram decided to... Um, Get a few runs in his own name, <laughs> uh, which is okay. You know, I like Markram, so that's okay. But hey, I mean, what a knock. What a knock. Um, this is, yeah, incredible knock. Um, he, <laughs> I've, I haven't seen him do something like that all season. I mean, he used to bat like this. This is like some 2018 sort of Kyle Rahul. Um, but hey, let's just jump straight into the scorecard. CSK batting first. Um, there's not a lot, I mean, uh, sorry, I totally forgot that Faf Duplessis hit 76. Rudy Raj, Guykwood, 12 of 14. Faf Duplessis, which, I mean, has been outshined by Kyle Rahul's knock, but this was just as good as a knock um, from Faf Duplessis. It, you know, it started quite slow until he realized in the last few overs, shit, I've just got to go for it at this point, and he was just connecting to everything um, until he went out. So, I mean, it was a good, good, good knock. It gave CSK at least something to work with. Um, so, I mean, Faf, how is he not in South Africa's T20 World Cup squad? How? I know that he's playing IPL, but if you're South Africa, you need every good player that you can get to have even a slight chance at winning any game. And they're going without their best player. So, make that make sense for South Africa. It doesn't. Um, Moen Ali, gee, he's been in some shit form. Um, he's been in some <laughs> really bad form in this UAE leg. Um, yeah. Robin Uldepal, gone for two. Um, Butty Raidu, gone for five. Dhoni, gone for 12. Jadeja, not out for 15. DJ Bravo, not out for four. So, look, no one else really did anything with the runs except for Faf Duple. See, without Faf, I mean, they were going to probably score around 30 runs. <laughs> in total, the bowlers... Muhammad Shami, one for 22 off four. Harpreet Bra. I do like what Harpreet brings. I think he's uh, I think he's quite good. None for 22 off four. And this man, Ashdeep Singh. You guys know how much I love this man as a bowler. Not as a, you know, I'm not, I don't swing that way. But, <laughs> you know, I, this guy is an absolute jet. He is going to be an absolute world-class dominant bowler in the world to come. I mean, Arshdeep Singh, this guy is could seriously be one of the next greatest bowlers of this generation. And that's not me. <laughs> that might be an early call. That might be a big call. It might be a silly call. But I don't give a shit. Arshdeep Singh could become one of the best bowlers of this generation. He <laughs> of the next generation, I mean, because obviously he's quite young. But I mean, seriously, he is super impressive at such a young age. So many different variations. The sort of deliveries he was bowling. I mean, he got out Guykwood with a beauty, and then he got Moeen Ali out with a beauty as well. I mean, he he's impressive. And if you're in, as well, <laughs> he will be playing international cricket for India very soon. In 2022, 2023, I assume he'll get an opportunity very soon. Um, and I'm uh, I'm on the bandwagon. I am one of his number one fans at the moment. Let's be honest. Um, Chris Jordan, where's he been in all tournament? I mean, we bring him in for uh, for Nick Puran, two for twenty off three. I mean, I don't know why it took us this long to make that change, but it has. Bishnoi, one for 25 off four. And Moses Enriques bowled the one over, none for nine off one. Arguably the greatest one over of all time. <laughs> I'm joking, but, you know, it was okay. Uh, but, hey, it was an easy chase for us. We had to chase 135, but we had to do it in, like, 10 overs um, if we wanted to go to fourth or something on net run rate, but it was never going to happen. 
Uh, but we did it in 13 overs. Super impressive on the back of this man. Classy Rahul. Um, 98, not out of 42. I mean, where do you even start with this innings? I mean, eight sixes, seven fours. There were some of the most incredible shots I've ever seen. You know, on one knee, one leg, sweep shots for six. You know, straight over the bowler's head for six. A big cover drive for six. There was a um, a big hook shot for six. I've just, yeah, I haven't seen him do something like this in a few years, to be honest, I mean. And if, if this is anything to go off, I mean, he's probably going to win the orange cap from here, unless something else happens with another batsman. But yeah, he's going to be dangerous come this World Cup. <laughs> he's going to be so dangerous to bowl to in this World Cup. I mean, shit, he's, he's looking great. Uh, for this World Cup. Um, Agarwal gone for 12. Didn't really get going. Safaraz Khan, I mean, what are you doing? What are you doing, Safaraz? What, what are you doing? I don't know why we brought him in at three. I guess his job was just to try and have a tog and just fucking try and smack it. Yeah. Look, I, um, I don't think we will see him again in the Punjab Kings uniform. So that's just being honest. Shuruk Khan going for eight off 10. And Markram, 13 off eight. And Moses on rakes. Three off three. Some of the greatest three runs you'll ever see. <laughs> uh, but hey, it was a pretty easy run when you've got Kale Rahul making 98. Not out. Um, the bowlers. Deepak Chaha. One for 48 off four. I mean, he, he didn't have a great day bowling, however. But he did propose to his girlfriend, who is now his fiance slash wife, whatever. So, <laughs> congratulations to Deepak Chaha. Um, he's now engaged. You know, it's a big step in life, my friend. Even after you lost, I'm surprised she didn't say no. You know, she she should have said no. You bowled one for 48, mate. You got hit for 48 runs and you lost as CSK. Uh, you're lucky she didn't say no. <laughs> it's all jokes in the end. Of course, you know, congratulations to the both of them. That's awesome. Awesome. And where else would you want to <clears throat> propose to a girlfriend then? At the cricket. <laughs> Josh Hazelwood, none for 22 off three. Shardul Takula, the Lord himself. This man is an absolute machine. This man, you just give him the ball and something happens. He is not a reserve in the T20 World Cup. He should be in the best 11. I don't give a shit. He is not a bench player. He is a best 11 player. Now, I know a lot of people are saying, well, you can't pick him over Pandya because, you know, he's batting. But I don't even care. Like, what he does with the ball is so important. Um, three for 28 off three. It was, in yeah, it was incredible. Um, Jadeja, none for nine off one. And Dijé, bravo, none for 32 off two. Not a great day for him. But hey, that is the end of that match. The end of the Punjab Kings season. We finish fifth. We finish fifth. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a little bit disappointing. Um, a little bit sad. A little bit disheartening. Yeah, I mean, what can you do? The last four seasons for the Punjab Kings, we have finished on 12 points for the last four seasons in a row. Yeah, it's a little bit disappointing. And net run rate. Jeez, it almost got in the in the, in the the addition. Now it's in the, it's still in the minus, but... Um, obviously, we had this Cole Carter versus Rajasthan match that happened overnight. I don't even know if I want to review it, to be honest, um, because it was an absolute embarrassing game, to be real, so... I mean, shout out to the Punjab Kings. What matches are left? Mumbai versus Sunrisers. We got DC, RCB. That'll be a good game. And then we get into the playoffs. So, I mean, shit. Shit, man. Into the playoffs. Rahul, how much is he ahead? He's ahead by... Ooh. How much is that? Is that 80? I'm going to say it's 80. So he's ahead by 80 runs. Wait, does CSK play again? No. CSK don't play again. Um, so Shikha Darwan. Shikha Darwan is the only person that can beat Kale Rahul from here. And he needs to score a 126 to do it. Shit, man. I mean, Kao Rahul is going to win the orange cap. Nice. Made me happy. Makes me smile. Hey, I'm so I'm happy for him. Unless Darwin scores a 
126, which we know Shika Darwin's probably possible of, so I don't want to go too early. But yeah. Um, the Orange Cap, Patel's going to win that. Abish Khan, Bumra, Shami, and Ashdeep Singh. He has only played 12 matches, and he has still got 18 wickets. This man is incredible. I'm telling you guys, I am backing him in to win the Orange Cap, uh, the, the Purple Cap next season, to be honest. So... Yeah, that's where I'm at. But hey, that is going to cap it off, guys. The Kings finish off the season with a win. Makes me happy. We don't make playoffs, but that's okay. You know what? Who am I going for in this season of playoffs? Um, I don't know. I don't really want to pick a team for the playoffs just to bandwagon on. I just want a really good series of playoffs. I just want the playoffs to be really good. I want cold cut. So, so I originally thought that the playoff system worked. It was one versus fourth. And then second versus third, and whoever wins out of them goes through. But I've been told that I'm completely wrong, which is no surprise. Um, it's one versus second, and then one goes through to the final. And then it's third versus fourth. And whoever wins that will play, let's say, CSK. And then whoever wins that goes to the final. So... So, DC versus CSK. I mean, CSK have lost three games in a row. I'd probably back DC to win that. And then RCB versus Kolkata. I mean, we know RCB, uh, it can choke at times. Um, but I would probably say RCB beat Kolkata. Um, and then I think, it'll, so it'll be CSK versus RCB. That'll be a good game. Let's say RCB win that. And then it'll be DC versus RCB. Who wins that? I'm probably going to go with DC. <laughs> but hey, who knows? This is the IPL. Anything can happen. But hey, that is going to cap it off, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.